All right, this is Luis Sandro, Fight Hype, got coming with Johnny Nelson. First of all, what do you think about this fight, man? Everybody telling me something different. I want to know what you got to say I'm about this I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You know what? Amir Khan has turned public opinion around in the space of 24 hours in the UK. He, he was getting a lot of stick from the UK fans because they were talking about the Kell Brook fight, and he was saying the fight's not big enough. Yeah. We didn't believe the excuses. You know, said, you know, and he was, he was nearly tarnishing what great fights had been and what you know uh, performance he'd put on. Mm -hmm. And then. You know, he backed up the box, he said, this fight's not big enough, this is what I call a fight. Came out with the Alvarez fight, wow! We were just like shocked. And he wow. turned public opinion around in a heartbeat because the fans, the public, the boxing attorney, everybody said, enough respect to Amir Khan for doing such a, pulling off such a coup to get such a fight, which has shocked the boxing world. Yeah. Because we honestly thought, you know what? He can do this. It's a tough, tough ass. It's a big ass, but it has been done. You look at history, it has been done. Mm -hmm. You get guys, if you've got the speed, speed, speed is king. And Amir Khan, to me, is the fastest fighter in the world. The fastest gunslinger in the West. <laughs> and he's up against uh, uh, Canelo. Canelo, you know, he sits there smug and cool, and he's thinking, this is such an easy fight. Remember, that's what Marvin Hagler thought when he bought Sugar Ray Leonard. That's true. And Sugar Ray Leonard's speed was the devil. It was, it was the key to success, and that, that killed it. So Canelo needs to take him serious, you know. And listen, we, we saw before when you saw the likes of Thomas Hearns, when Thomas Hearns got taken on chin, everybody said Thomas Hearns is chin it, he's chin it. That's what he's probably thinking about Amir Khan. I hope he does, because therefore what he's going to do is he's going to be underestimating, thinking this is an easy fight. This is not an easy fight, and the longer this fight goes, the harder it is for Canelo. The closer it gets to that 12 round, it means Amir's ahead on points because there's no way Canelo's going to outbox him. He'll outmuscle like him, he'll outfight him, he'll outwrestle yeah. him, but there's no way in a million years he's going to outbox him. So the longer the fight goes, the more desperate Canelo's going to get. The more desperate he gets, all of a sudden, what's going to happen? He's going to start making mistakes and getting hit, getting counted, getting popped off. And that's why I see my Amir Khan pulling this fight off because he will fight with fear, respect, you know, and instinct like a deer in the woods. What's going on there? So uh, I think it'd be good. If he wins it, what does it do for his career? How does it, what does well, it do to the boxing world? Listen, for the boxing world in England, I think the biggest shock for us in the UK was uh, after Henry Coop putting down Arley in the, <laughs> in the fourth round, it was then uh, Lloyd Hunnigan beating Donald Curry here, here in the States. Yeah. Uh, so for big fights, now you've got two live young fighters yeah. in, in Alvarez and Khan. I'm telling you now, Amir Khan wins this fight. It puts him up there to be the most successful, shocking fighter in British history to come out here to fight. Canel Alvarez, who's one of the best young fighters in the world. So it's not like he's past his best. Mm -hmm. It's not like this guy's shot. It's not like this guy's come off a, a devastating loss. It means Amir Khan, Khan's beat the best at his best. And that's why for, for British boxing, this would be massive. This British boxing flying at the moment. We've got 11 world champions. They're putting fights on that. More than the Americans. One. Yeah, and, and more than the Americans. So and we're just a little island. Yeah. So <laughs> we're doing some right. And yeah. Charles Martin will be fighting Anthony Joshua for the IBF title as fight. well. Another good fight. So we're starting to kick some American ass. <laughs> <laughs>